Alright, all set? You got it. Okay, today we're going to start with a number talk. Remember to show me with your silent signals when you have a solution to these problems. There are many ways you might find the answer, so you can signal that using a 1, a 2, and a 3. Okay. The first problem that we're going to work on is 3 times 4. Okay, just your silent signals. Okay, who has their answer? Drake? Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. If you agree with Drake, please show him. Okay, Drake, how did you get 12? Can you tell me more about how you did that? Is there another way you can find 12, Kaden? Um, you can do 4 plus 4 plus 4. Okay. Does Chloe have another way? Yeah. Okay. So saying 3, 6, 9, so that would be skip counting. And Jesse? Um, oh, how would I set up an array? Um, would you want three across <coughs> the top? Okay. <coughs> And then what? Okay. One, two, three, four. Very good. So we have a three by four array. Any final ways? Evan? Three times three equals four. I mean, three times three equals nine. And one more three. Okay. Think of a fact that you know. Three times three is nine. And then I know that 9 plus 3 more is 12. All right, here's your next one. What is 12 times 3? Just your silent signal right now. Think of multiple strategies. If you already have one, what's another way you can solve this problem? into 10 and 2? Yeah. Okay, then what would you multiply? Okay, times 10. Okay. Who'd like to share their answer? Nitra? If you agree with Nitra, please show her. Okay, how did you get 36? Drake? How would I set up an open array? 12 across? Okay. Just like this? Okay. So I could draw all the dots inside? So I'd have 12 across, and then I would have three down. So one, two, three. Sorry, I messed that one up. So we'll say it goes to there. How? I was thinking of something different. Could Chloe help you out with that open array? Okay, so who knows that math term for breaking apart numbers? What can we use? Isaiah? Okay, let's decompose 10, 12 into 10 and 2. 
and I'm going to redraw this. So I want to go three down, and then Chloe says we can break apart 12 into 10, and then two more. And then I can use partial products to find my product to this problem. 10 times 3 is? And 2 times 3 is? With those partial products, what do I do? Find the, use your math vocabulary. Yes? Find the sum. Okay. 30 plus 6 is 36. Okay. Is there another way to solve 12 times 3, Kaden? Um, I did 12 plus 12 equals 24, and then 24 plus 12 equals <laughs> Okay. And we're going to solve one more multiplication problem. What is the product of 3 times 22? And you have your answer. Put your <coughs> thumb up at your chest. See a couple strategies. Chase, what did you get? Okay, do you want to, if you agree with Chase, please show him with a shake. Thank you. Okay, most agree. Chase, what did you do to solve that problem? I'm sorry, what did you do? Okay, so are you saying that would be like a repeated addition? Like this? If you solved it the same way as Chase, give him a shake. You agree. Okay, what are some different ways then? Katie? Um, I uh, did what Chloe did. I did 3 plus 12 equals 20, and then, then I did like 2 in another box like Chloe, and then I added them together, and then I did 66. So 3 times 20 is 60, another 3 times 2 is 6. And then your total product is 66. Okay. Partial sum products. And Chloe, last one. Um, I did 3 times 20 equals 60. And then I knew that 3 plus 3 was 6. So then I added 2 more groups of 3 and 6. Okay, those two groups of 3 and adding those to 60. Great. Mitra is agreeing with you. Okay. Class, class. Yes, yes. <clears throat> what are some ways we can show multiplication? Eric? Multiples. Multiples, are you saying like when you count by a number, yeah. counting by threes? Okay. What's another way we can show multiplication? Nitra? Okay, an array. We have an open array here, and then we have an array that's filled in with our dots up at the top for that easier problem. What's another way? What is this called? Jamal? Repeated addition. So turn into your B spots and take a look at our goal for today. Okay, our goal is that um, is I can use what I already know about multiplication to multiply a fraction by a whole number. What are some math terms in that goal that we can highlight? Chloe? Multiply. Okay, we're going to multiply. We know what that is. We've just worked on that. And Jesse? I can tell you're looking right here, right? Fraction. Okay. Just finishing up our fraction unit. Um, Katie? I don't know if this is it, but I can use what I already know to about multiplication. What would that math be? Like multiplying by something that I already know about multiplication. What would the math term be that we're highlighting? Multiplication. Okay. And there's one more that I want to talk about. Eric? Mm -hmm. Whole number. What's a whole number? Um, I remember, um, I remember that. Um, one. One is an example. So we could say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the numbers that we're counting by. They don't have a fraction or a decimal to them. And then, as we're working to be mathematicians, our SMP goal today is that we'll model 
our answers, our mathematical answers. We'll look for structure, and we're going to try and notice a new pattern today. Okay, let's activate our background knowledge. How do we decompose four eighths? How can we take that fraction apart? Drake? Okay, tell me how I would do that. Half of the fraction? Yeah. Okay, two eighths, and then what else do I need to make four eighths? Another two eighths. Another two eighths. What's another way I can decompose four eighths? Hunter, what do you think? Break it into um, one eighth. Okay, how would I do that? Um, one eighth plus one eighth. Let's count with Hunter. One eighth plus one eighth. Plus one eighth plus one eighth. And that equals four eighths. Is there another way, Nitra? Okay, four eighths is three eighths plus one eighth. Let's take a look at this one real quick. One eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. How many one eighths do we have? Show me with your fingers. How many one eighths is that? We have four. How can we write this as a multiplication sentence? We know repeated addition is one way we can solve multiplication problems. How could we transfer this into writing a multiplication sentence? Chloe. You can times the ones by, or you add all of the ones together. If we're adding that, yeah? Show me again how many one ace we have. Four, and we're timing that by what? We have four of what? We have four one-eighths. So we have four times one-eighth. Okay, let's take a look at what that means as we model with mathematics. Two times one-fifth. Hmm. We have two pictures here we can use to help model our answers. So on this number line, if this is zero and we have one here, what do these marks represent? What fractional parts? Hunter? I was just going to say, um, there's four of them right there. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five. You notice there's five. So what unit fraction is represented in each of those marks? Katie? One fifth. One fifth. Okay, so this is one fifth. Count with me. Two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, Ooh. one whole. Or one whole. Great. So how do I show two times one fifth? Jesse? Great. Give Jesse a whoop whoop. Okay, two fifths. Thanks for coming up and demonstrating that. And what is this a picture of, Jamal? Right, or a fraction bar. And we want to show, remember, two times one fifth. How can we use that fraction bar to show that? Drake? You can come on up and show it to him. It is. Good catch. This shows six. Glad you're looking closely at that. Yeah, Jesse? Ah, come show me how you would do that. Uh -huh. 
Okay, put the marker down and show me how you add another. Okay. And that is two fifths as well. So we have two holes and one fifth of each. One fifth plus one fifth is two fifths. Okay. Let's see how we do the two times one eighth. Take your whiteboards out, cap your uncap your markers. Once you've solved this problem and you've modeled with mathematics, put your eyes up on me and we'll share out our answers. Write the problem first, two times one eighth. Can you make this look like one eighth? want to show that numerator on top and the denominator on the bottom. Okay, how can we model this? We know multiplication is also repeated addition. Could you write this as an addition sentence? What are we adding? One eighth. One eighth. How many times? Two. Two times. So show me how you would write that as an addition sentence. with the sign here. If we have, you said you want to add one eighth two times. Show me how you would write that. What do you want to add? Two. We're doing it two times, but what are we adding each time? Three. Mm -hmm. We have to add one eighth two times. So one eighth plus one eighth is two eighths. Mm -hmm. What did you say the answer was? <laughs> see many different models. Okay. We're not changing how many parts are in the whole weight. That denominator isn't changing. What we're doing is we're having one eighth two times. So can I borrow your marker? So if we have two times one eighth we know multiplication is also repeated addition. We want to find out what two one-eighths looks like. So we can add one-eighth plus one-eighth. It will be two-eighths. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a picture of that, okay? If I have a fraction bar cut into eighths, get as close to equal parts as we can. There are eight pieces here. I have two times this one eighth. So here's one eighth, and here's another one eighth. And my answer is two eighths. Two eighths. So right now we're only multiplying a fraction by a whole number, so the denominator should not be changing. All right. I have someone who's willing to share out what they have on their whiteboard. You can come up and hold your whiteboard up for us. Use a loud voice, okay? Um, I made a fraction strip here, and then I cut it into eighths, 
and then um, I colored in two of them to make this is one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, and so on. And then if you colored in two of them, that would be two eighths. And then if you had one fraction strip in eighths and you colored one of those, and then another fraction strip with eighths and colored one of those, that'd be two eighths again. And then with the number line, if you this is the whole and you start at zero, this is one eighth, two eighths, and the rest of that. And if you jump two, that's what two eighths. Okay, did anyone else make two jumps that are both one eighth in size? Jumps on a number line? If you agree, give us a shake if you did that. If you were using your fraction strips, will you sh give us, why don't you give me a shake? Actually, Chloe did that too. Give Chloe the shake. Okay, so we could show it using fraction strips and a number line. Give Chloe a whoop whoop on three. One, two, three. Whoop, whoop. Erase your boards. I'll know you're ready when your eyes are on me. Isaiah, please erase your board right away. Okay. I want to challenge you to try and model with mathematics a different way than you did last time. What is 5 times 1 eighth? Five. 5 times 1 eighth. Maybe you'll notice a pattern. So I see you got the answer quickly. How can you either explain your thinking or show a model to represent? Something, Skylar? Five times one equals five, and one eight, you can throw then transfer the eight, eight, and then you got five eighths. Okay, so why didn't you change the denominator? Because it, with his fractions, you, normally you don't change the denominator. Even if you get an improper fraction, then, it, then you usually turn it into a mixed number. Okay. So the denominator never changes. Okay, and what does the denominator tell us? How much it is out of a whole. Mm -hmm. Well, this tells us how many pieces we have to make the whole. But what does the 5 tell us? Um, it tells us how much there is. We have, yeah. Good. Okay. Great. Okay, class, class? Yes, yes. Do I have another student? Well, actually, I'm going to call Skylar up. Skylar noticed a pattern in this mathematics. Tell us, tell the class what you did, Skylar. Um, I'll model it up here. I did 5 times 1, which equals 5. Then 1 eighth, and I know oh, when you have the pattern. And you just add the denominator. Denominator. The denominator, and then I got five eighths. Okay, so you can have a seat, Skylar. I'm going to explain that again. So Skylar noticed he could multiply five times one, but he knew he couldn't change the denominator. The denominator tells us how many parts make the whole. So he showed five times one over eight is five. Eighths. Okay, erase your boards. Let's try one more. <clears throat> I'd like you to try three times two tenths. This is not a unit fraction. We have two tenths now. We've been multiplying unit fractions before one fourth, one fifth, one eighth. But now we have two in the numerator. What is three times two tenths? Write down the problem, please. 
Let's do some repeated addition. Some of you have taken on Schuyler's equation. Fraction strips. And jumps on a number line. Good models. So two tenths plus two tenths plus two tenths. And we have it three times. All set? Yeah. Okay, what is three times two tenths? Jay Kaden, sorry? Um six tenths. Six tenths. Can you explain your thinking? Okay, so you, you checked, you did three times two, and then you added your, you knew it would be out of ten, six out of ten, so six tenths was your answer. Can you show it like this? Yeah. Mm hmm. And Jamal? Okay, good. Any others? All right. Um, erase your boards and cap your markers. I know you're ready when your eyes are up here. Listen carefully for your workshop directions today. Okay. Your independent work, you'll be taking an iPad to practice comparing fractions using the app called Oh No Fractions. Okay. And with your partner, you'll be solving a baking cookies story problem today. So use what you know about multiplication to transfer that into multiplying fractions by whole numbers. If you're an early finisher, your game choice today is fraction match. I'll be working with the green team first, so if you are on the green team, you may bring your whiteboard, marker, and eraser over to my table. Show me with your hands what voice level we use during transitions. I see a few of them. Level zero. Okay, if you're in the purple team, you may begin.